Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, to this special day. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. And um, as we all know, we are in the fourth month. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're all welcome again. <laughs> Pastor uh, Iberi, Pastor Rachel, hallelujah. God bless you all. Pastor Bridget, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor v uh, Reverend Victor, uh, Mr. Amon, God bless you all. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. It's once again that time of the year, and uh, we are in the fourth month. Hallelujah. And I know that uh, it's a special time in Foundation Ministries because we have set aside this month as uh, one of the months for our fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. It's Amen. going to be a seven-day fast and prayer. And I know that the Lord is going to do wonders in our midst. We're going to see the power of the Lord demonstrated in a way that we've never seen before. Hallelujah. Praise the, the Lord. So I want us to you know, just be prepared for what God is going to do in these seven days, because I know that he has, you know, prepared and he has something in stock for us. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So before we uh, just go on, hallelujah, I just want us to begin to thank God because God has done wonders. Even in the past four months, uh, the Lord has done wonders. Praise the name of Lord, notwithstanding anything that has happened, we still know God is a good God. Praise the name of the Lord. I still say He is a good God. He never fails us. He has not, you know, He He, he can. He's just a, an excellent God. Praise the name of the Lord. Bible says, in all things we give Him thanks. Praise the name of the Lord. So whatever it is that you know we're experiencing at this hour, we still have to give thanks to God because He has been the one that you know has supplied all our needs, kept us. He has you know provided for us divinely. He has kept us in good health. He has watched over our lives. He has watched over our children. So let's just raise our voices and just give thanks to God this evening. Thank you, Father. Father, we want to give you praise. We honor you. We bless your name, O Lord. We thank you, Father, for this wonderful day that you have made. For the Bible says it's a day that you have made. And Lord, we should rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you that, Lord God Almighty, we are able to rejoice in this day. We thank you because, Lord, of the gladness that, Lord, you have put in our hearts. We want to give you praise. We thank you so much for, Lord, even your goodness and for your mercy. We want to give you praise. We thank you. Lord Father God Almighty for Lord even the day that Lord you have given to us oh Lord which is a gift from you that you have made us even able to see this day we want to say thank you we want to say thank you so much oh Lord Father God Almighty for watching over us for Lord God Almighty giving us life we want to give you praise we thank you we appreciate oh Lord every good thing that you have done the Bible says that Lord every good and perfect gift it comes from above thank you for the good perfect gifts that you have given unto us today. We want to give you praise. We honor you. We thank you. Even for our children, we thank you, Lord Father, for every member of Foundation Ministry worldwide. We want to say thank you, Lord, for God Almighty, for watching over us, protecting us from the wiles of the enemy. We thank you for being our defense and our rock. We want to give you praise. Thank you for being our refuge. We want to give you praise. We thank you so much, oh Lord. Father, for Lord, just being there for us. You say you will never leave us you will never forsake us thank you for your presence with us day by day we want to say thank you for all that you have done even in, from the month of january this year to this day we want to say thank you lord for everything lord god almighty that you have done the blessings you have released even upon our lives we want to say thank you so much oh lord in the good things in the lord even in things that lord we feel that they are lord father not even pleasant to us we want to say thank you thank you so much oh lord we give you all the glory we thank you father and we say be thou exalted oh lord in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen hallelujah praise the name of the lord i just want us to commit these seven days into the hands of the lord we want to see god work wonders we want to see the excellent power of god demonstrated 
in our midst. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know that God is already prepared for us. Hallelujah. Because it's a time he knows that we set aside each, I mean, the fourth month, fifth month, seventh month, and the tenth month. We know that we set that aside for fasting and for prayer. And I know that he's going to do the great works that he has prepared for this month for us. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's commit the seven day fasting into the hands of the, of the Lord. We, we, we can't, the Bible says we can do nothing except, I mean, we can't, do, we can't do anything except we have him with us. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to just commit everything into the hands of the Lord for him to guide us, for him to lead us, for him to instruct us on what to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just uh, go ahead and just commit this whole seven days into the hands of the Lord. As we are committing the days into the hands of the Lord, let's commit the prayer leaders into the hand of the Lord, that the Lord will anoint them freshly for Lord this season in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. Thank you, Lord, Father, for these seven days that Lord, you have a Lord set aside. Lord God Almighty, Lord, for us to be with you, for us to commune with you we thank you because lord even as we gather that lord god almighty you will be let us experience oh lord your power in your lord a magnificent oh lord father dimension in the mighty name of jesus let's experience oh lord father your goodness let's experience your power let's experience oh lord father lord god almighty your your divine oh lord glory in the mighty name of jesus lord i pray that lord these seven days oh lord We'll see miracles, we'll see signs, we'll see wonders, we'll see deliverance, we'll see, Lord, divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Total deliverance, oh Lord, Father, we shall see, oh Lord, a total turn around, oh Lord, in situations and circumstances. We shall experience, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the praise, oh Lord, concerning, oh Lord, Father, the prayer leaders, oh Lord, Father, we commit them into your hands. Lord, I pray, Lord, for fresh anointing, fresh revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you help them, oh Lord, even in these seven days, oh Lord, as we gather in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord God Almighty, let your Holy Spirit, oh Lord, lead us and guide us, oh Lord Father, in what to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit instruct us, oh Lord, on how to go about these seven days, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and we say, be thou exalted, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Quickly, we're just going to take uh, just one or two songs of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Before I just go into um, uh, my message for the day. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, if we just ask Pastor Rachel to just lead us, praise God. In, um, Hallelujah. 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 Shall we just begin to worship the Lord in our home? Lord? Let's lift up our voice and just magnify him. I just worship him. He's worthy of our praise. Father, we honor you. We give you praise in your name. We are grateful to you. We are grateful. Oh, yes, Lord. We, are grateful. we say, now exalted, oh Lord. We magnify your name. We say, Lord, you are God. There's none to be compared with you. We just give you praise. We honor you, Lord. And we Lord, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, oh, my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, oh, my soul, I will your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, oh, Sing like never, sing, sing like, like never, never before. 
What a beautiful name What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ Oh, what a beautiful name it is Nothing <laughs> Nothing compares What a powerful name it is. Jesus. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. Oh, what a powerful name it is. What a powerful Hallelujah. 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 
We honor you, we bless your name, O Lord. We give you all the glory because there's none to be compared with you, there's none like you, O Lord. We honor you, O Lord. We bless your name. Because there's none to be compared with you, O Lord. You are God, O Lord, the sovereign God, the greatest of all things, the one that brings us all the affairs of all men, O Lord. We praise you, we honor you, we bless your name, O Lord. You are the Lord we 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Before we actually start, I just wanted to give you know, just a background as to why we gather, you know, in the fourth month, in the uh, in the um, fifth month, the seventh month, and the tenth month. I just wanted to, you know, just give a, a brief, you know, uh, a highlight as to why we actually gather. And if we turn our Bibles to uh, Zechariah chapter 8 and uh, verse 19, and it says, the word of the Lord, uh, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying, Thus says the Lord, the fast of the fourth month, the fast of the seventh month, and the fast of the, uh, uh, sorry, the fast of the fourth month, the fast of the fifth month, the fa fast of the seventh month, and the fast of the tenth month shall be joy and gladness and cheerful feast. For the house of Judah, therefore, love and truth, uh, love, truth, and peace. Praise the name of the Lord. So we, we have taken, you know, uh, these months specifically based on the uh, this scripture, Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 19. You know, this was a time when the Lord was speaking, you know, to the children of Israel. And he was talking about the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the uh, fifth month, the fast of the sixth, seventh month, and the fast of the tenth month. You know, these were fasts that were taken on in the, you know, in the uh, uh, land of uh, Israel in that time, with, uh, amongst the children of Israel at that time. And why were these fasts being held? It's good to know uh, a background, to have a background as to why these fasts were actually held. And by reading, if we, I won't go too much into it, but 
The first one was the fast of the first, fourth month. Now, for, for the fast of the fourth month, it was actually based on the fact that Israel, I mean, the walls of Israel were breached. Israel, I mean, the children of Israel were uh, in Jerusalem. The walls of Jerusalem were actually breached. And the children of Israel were in trouble. They were in serious trouble because the enemy had breached the walls. And because of that, they took it upon themselves to lay out a time in the month, uh, which was the fourth month, which is the time when that breach happened. They now decided to, to kind of make that fourth month a time of prayer and a time of fasting. So also was the uh, time of the fifth month, the fast of the fifth month. Now, for the fast of the fifth month, what happened was that at that time was when, after the breaching of the wall, was when the children of Israel were taken into mm -hmm. captivity. So they took it upon themselves that the, uh, in the fifth month, they will set aside a time for fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. So also for the seventh month, the seventh month, what happened was that the king that, you know, when they were taken into captivity, there were some that were left in the, in the land of Jerusalem. And the, the people that took them captive appointed someone to be their king, to be ruler over them. But that ruler was tragically killed, you know, and then they took it upon themselves. They say in the seventh month that they would fast because of this tragic loss uh, that they, you know, they suffered. And then in the fast of the 10th month, what happened was that uh, the children of Israel were, that was the time exactly when the, 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 the I mean, when Jerusalem itself was besieged by the enemy so they took it upon themselves that in the 10th month they will fast for because of that reason uh, that uh, uh, they were actually besieged by the by the enemy so all those months of fasting were times of dire i mean of they were in actually serious uh, uh, trouble it was a time of trouble for the children of israel Praise the name of the Lord. But what did the Lord say? He says, those times of fasting, he says, they shall be turned into times of joy. Times of joy. So when we come to fast every fourth month, every fifth month, every seventh month, every tenth month, we are expecting a result of joy. We are expecting a result that will bring gladness. We are expecting a result that would change situations that are, you know, trouble, I mean, that, that would change situations that we are going through presently, that would turn them around and bring about joy and bring about gladness. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's why we have actually chosen that, uh, that scripture to, and chosen those months for prayer and fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Because mm -hmm. we know that there are times whereby we need to set aside to deal with certain situations, to deal with certain situations. And these situations, as Jesus said, that they can't go except by what fasting has done. They can't go except by what fasting and prayer. They can't go. So there are some situations that need a time of fasting, a time of prayer, so that we can change and turn around those situations. Praise the name of the Lord, because as, he, as Jesus said, you know, when his disciple came, uh, they, they, you know, the man brought the, the child to them and tried. He said, can you pray for my child so that he's relieved of this demon that has been troubling, troubling him? And they prayed and it, nothing happened. And they now when uh, the man now brought the child to Jesus and Jesus was able to kill that, that, that uh, the son of that man. And the disciples asked him, they said, how come, how come we were not able to, to heal this guy, this uh, fellow? Why, what was the problem? Jesus, now that was when Jesus made that uh, mention of that word. He says, there are some things that cannot be, cannot be brought out, cannot be uh, 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 changed or destroyed, except by what fasting and prayer. So that's why it's time, we set aside time in the year to deal with some situations that we know that what are need fasting and prayer so that the situations can change, so that there can be a turnaround, so that joy may begin to flow again, so that gladness may fill our hearts. 
praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then uh, I just wanted to us to, to see in terms of fasting and prayer, what is it? What, how does God want us you know, to, to, to go about fasting? How does God want us to go, uh, to go about fasting? And let us quickly look at Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. And we're starting from uh, uh, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. It says, Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens. And that's one thing we are going to be concentrating on this first of the fourth month. To what? Undo heavy burdens. And why am I saying so? Because I sense in the spirit that people have, you know, are experiencing, are going through, you know, that, that a time of, 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 of experiencing heaviness in their spirit. Heaviness in their spirit, grief, mourning. But we want that to change. We want that to change. Praise the name of the Lord. That Amen. people are grief. When I say grief, it's not only because of uh, uh, because of death. People are grief in so many ways. Loss of job, loss of career, loss of child, loss. There, in so many ways, people are grieving, and it has caused an atmosphere of what heaviness. But we want them to change that atmosphere with this, with this fasting and prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. We want the Lord to intervene and change the atmosphere, to bring about joy, to bring about gladness on every side in the name of Jesus. He says, mm -hmm. to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it not to share the bread with the hungry and that you bring your house uh, bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, uh, that you cover him and not hide yourself from, uh, uh, from your own flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. So God, when we gather to pray, when we gather for fasting and prayer, there's something, there are some things that what God expects of us. Praise the name of the Lord. And that the first one he says losing the bonds of what of of wickedness, praise the name of the Lord. Losing the bonds of destroying the powers, principalities and powers, destroying their works. Praise the name of the Lord. That's destroying the powers of the wicked. Praise the name of the Lord. He says to undo heavy burdens, as I've already spoken about that. To let the oppressed go free. To let the oppressed go free. And one thing that happens in this kind of atmosphere that I sense, in this atmosphere of grief, of mourning, of the spirit of heaviness, is, a, 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 is, is, is a, a, something to do with what? Depression. People are oppressed with depression. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to set, we want to pray, we want to set people free from what? Depression. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to set people free from the oppression of the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know that God is going to do that for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he says, and that you break every yoke. Every yoke. Everything that is burdening anyone. Anything that is burdening any of us. Any member of Foundation Ministry worldwide anything that is burdening the body of christ we want to break that yoke in the mighty name of jesus praise mm -hmm. the name of the lord and he says is it not to share the, our world it's a time of what giving it's a time of giving and sharing with those that don't have praise the name of the lord these are the things that god is looking for in this time in these seven days Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, when we do that, when we go into fasting and prayer, there's something that we expect. There's something that we expect. And he says in verse uh, 8, in verse 8, he says, then your light shall break forth like the morning. 
our light is going to break forth in these seven days. After the seven days, we will see our light breaking forth. Amen. We will see our light breaking forth. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We Amen. will see us, you know, entering into that, uh, 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 into that position whereby God, people will say, no, God is with this man. God is helping this man. God is standing with this man. Our life will break forth. People will come to know God because of uh, our time, the time that what we have spent with him. He says, then our light shall break forth. He says, healing shall also spring forth. So that's number two. When we fast, when we pray, we're expecting light to break forth. We're expecting people to experience the power of God. We experience, we are expecting people to what? Get healed. He says, healing shall break forth. He has, shall spring forth speedily. Not only just healing, but speedily it will come. We'll experience mm -hmm. healing speedily. He says, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of God shall be at what your rear guard. Your righteousness shall go before you. Your righteousness shall go before you. He says, and what the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. We shall see, we shall experience the glory of the Lord <laughs> at the end of these seven days. Praise the name of the Lord. We shall see the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord, he says, it will be at our rear. It will be the one guarding over us. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll experience the glory of God. Hallelujah. He says, then you, shall, then you shall call and the Lord will answer. So expect your, our prayers to be answered this, this, uh, the, within these seven days. All prayer points that we read, he says, when we call upon him in the time of prayer, and fasting, he will answer. He will answer. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, mm -hmm. you shall cry and he will say, here I am. If you take away the yoke from me, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So there are certain things that happen when we pray, when we fast. He says our light will break forth. He says what? Then healing will come speedily. Praise the name of the Lord. He says our righteousness word, will go before us. Will go before us. People will see you and they will see God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of what God is doing with you. Because of the time you have spent with God you will see that, it, I mean, favor will just come out. Your favor will be come. You will experience favor in a different dimension. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And just before we go into prayer, I just want to tell us about Isaiah. I mean, the theme of this, uh, just put you through, through with the theme of uh, the, the fast and, uh, fasting and prayer. And if we go to Isaiah chapter 61, Isaiah chapter 61, and it's from verse 1 to 3. And it's from verse 1 to 3. But we are actually just focusing on uh, 2b, 2b and 3. 2b and 3. And as I said, as, as I said, while I was just, you know, praying uh, concerning this uh, fasting and prayer, you know, as I said, I sense that spirit of, you know, heaviness all around, that spirit of heaviness, that spirit of grief, that spirit of mourning. But, you know, it's a time now that we want God to bring about a turnaround, mm -hmm. a turnaround, a turnaround. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are going to experience that even over these seven days. And that's why I, uh, th this word came to me. It says in 2B, it says to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the word spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, then that he may be glorified. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. This mm -hmm. uh, scripture actually 
was a prophecy concerning uh, the Lord Jesus. And at the time when Jesus came, uh, um, you know, when he was ready to, to begin his ministry, he actually looked into this word. And this was the word that he used to, to, to um, uh, launch his ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. He looked into this word and the Bible says, he said the same words and he says, today, he says, today, these words have been fulfilled in your presence. And one thing I want you to understand is that this word of God, this Isaiah chapter 1, uh, Isaiah 61, 1 to 3, is a job description. If you want to look at the job description, if you, if you want to know the job description of our Lord Jesus Christ, it clearly sets it out. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And we are starting from uh, 2B. He says, to comfort all who mourn. And he says, to console those who mourn in Zion. So when you experience, there's a, an experience of overwhelming mourning, mourning that is going beyond what it should be, we need to what? Call upon the name of Jesus. Because he's able to comfort us. He's able to console us. And why is he doing that? That at the end of the day, we may experience joy and we may experience gladness once again. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. Why? Mm -hmm. The next other thing is that he says to give beauty for what? Ashes. When we talk about ashes, we talk about things that are totally destroyed. But God, I mean, the, the, the word of God says what? Jesus is able to bring out something beautiful, even from what we think has been lost. Mm. From what we think we have lost. God, I mean, Jesus is able to what? Bring out something beautiful out of it. So as I said, there's so much grief around, I sense. And I believe that still Jesus is, because of the loss, so many kinds of loss that have been suffer, suffered, a lot of grieving is going on. But Jesus is saying today that I am able to what, bring beauty out of the loss. Out of any loss that we have suffered, we, he's able to bring something beautiful out of it. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he mm -hmm. says, what? The oil of joy for mourning. The oil of joy for mourning. And we are going to what? That is why the final night is going to be a night of what? Anointing. Because we are going to anoint ourselves for, to, for an experience of overwhelming joy joy that we we would not even be even be able to comprehend because what oil is going to bring what joy into our lives once again into the lives of so many because this ministry is connected to so many we have suffered a great loss and i know that as for, because of because of that a lot of mourning is going on. A lot of grief is going on. But we're going to pray for those that the Lord will change their mourning, will turn their mourning into what? Into dancing. Praise the name of the Lord. Change mm -hmm. to joy. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. And bring about mm -hmm. the beautiful things that he wants to, to bring about even the, in this period. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know mm -hmm. that God is going to do something special in our midst. And then it finally says, the gamut of praise for the word spirit of heaviness. We are going to exchange that atmosphere, what of, 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 the, of heaviness with what? With praise. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. And I just mm -hmm. thank God that even as we finish, uh, the Limerick branch is going into three nights of what? Uh, of, of, of praise, of prayer, of uh, praise and worship. And that's going to, you know, that's just going to be excellent. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are going to experience the, the, this atmosphere. We want to what? Totally get rid of it over these seven days. The atmosphere of mourning, of grief, of, 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 of the spirit of heaviness, which is overwhelming the saints of God. We want to say, Lord, we want a change. Lord, we want something different. We want joy to what overflow in our hearts. We want to be, we want to see gladness overflowing in our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know that the Lord is going to do this for us over these seven days. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. So we're just going to pray tonight because I, I've been, I, 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 I'm going to be praying for comfort. We are starting with, he says, to comfort all who mourn. To, Jesus has that power to exchange. You see, because if you look at this, it's, it's something to do with a spiritual exchange. He says what? He's able to comfort those who mourn. So those who mourn, he's able to what? Dish out comfort. He's able to what? Exchange mourning for what? Comfort with mourning. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says he's able to console all those who mourn also. So consolation comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. He's able to what? Exchange mourning with, I mean, with consolation. Praise the name of the Lord. So also he says, beautiful ashes. Where there's ashes, where there's loss, where there's total destruction, Jesus says, I'm able to bring about what? Uh, a beauty. Hallelujah. And he says, mm -hmm. oil of joy for mourning. Mm -hmm. And oil that brings joy. An anointing that brings joy. I am able to dish it out. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, mm -hmm. for garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So it's going to be a, a, a time of what? Spiritual exchange. Spiritual exchange. There's going to be ex an exchange in the spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And with the end result is going to be that of joy and that of gladness. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pray tonight. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let's take the first prayer point. We're just going to pray. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take it from Paul's reminder to the Corinthians. First, second Corinthians chapter, uh, second Corinthians chapter one, verse three to four. Paul's reminder to the uh, Corinthians that God is a God of all comfort. So let us look at it. It says, praise be to God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with comfort we ourselves have received from God. And that is the more reason why I say this sense, I mean, this atmosphere, we need to change it. Hallelujah. We need to get it changed. We need to bring about that joy, to bring about, let, let our hearts be comforted. And Paul is reminding us that God is the God of all comfort. And why is he saying that God is the God? Of, he says, when we call upon God to comfort us, then we are able to comfort those who are around us. We must be comforted ourselves. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are going to call on God, comfort us in the way. He says he's the God of all comfort. So whatever area of our lives that needs comfort, God is able to comfort us. He says God of all comfort. So we are going to ask God tonight, comfort us, especially every member of Foundation Ministry worldwide. Foundation Ministry, God with Management, Limbering Foundation Ministry, and it's every member of Foundation Ministry, Uganda, every uh, branch of Foundation, everyone that is connected to Foundation, Home Builders Network, we're going to ask that the Lord comfort us so that we are able to comfort those that are, that need comfort. Praise the name of the Lord. It's like saying charity begins at home. We have to comfort ourselves first so that we can comfort others. Because when others are seeing us in a position of mourning, in a position of grief, in a position of, uh, in a, I mean, having a heavy spirit, then we are unable to comfort others. But we are going to ask God comfort us. He's the God of all comfort, God of compassion. So let's lift up our voices tonight and just commit every member of Foundation Ministry worldwide, say comfort us, comfort us, so that we may be able to comfort others. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we lift up, O oh Lord, Father, every member of Foundation Ministry worldwide. I lift up, O oh Lord, Father, the congregation, O oh Lord, Father, of Foundation Ministry. Uganda, Foundation Ministry, and it's a little God, Father, into your hands. And I pray that's let I lift them up into your Lord hand. And I pray that Lord, you that is the God of all comfort, I pray, Lord, that you comfort them on every side. The Bible says you comfort in all areas. 
or whatever area they need comfort, whether it be physical, whether it be material, whether it be financial, whether it be spiritual, Lord, I pray that you comfort them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray that, Lord, let the spiritual Lord of heaviness be uprooted. Let the spiritual Lord, Father God of mighty heaviness, Lord, be destroyed, Lord, Father, in our lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I say let every Lord grief, O Lord, Father, let it, O Lord, be lifted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let our mourning, O Lord, let everything, O Lord, to do with mourning, O Lord, let it, let there be a turn around, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, we ask, O Lord, Father, for the spirit of joy, O Lord, Father, to flow in us, O Lord, Lord, by the power of your comfort, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, we pray for that spirit of gladness, O Lord, to flow within every member of foundation ministry worldwide, O Lord, by the power, O Lord, Father, Lord God Almighty, and the anointing, O Lord, that you will Lord Father, will give, O Lord, through these seven days in the name of Jesus. We ask for a change in the atmosphere, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say, let the atmosphere, O Lord, change over us. The atmosphere, O Lord Father, over this land, over this clear, O Lord Father, let it change, O Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Lord God Almighty, I say, Lord, exchange, O Lord. Comfort, O oh Lord, God Almighty, each and every member, O oh Lord, of the Foundation Ministry, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just going to pray with the comforting words of Moses to Joshua. Comforting words of Moses to Joshua. The Lord, we say, take that from Deuteronomy chapter 31, 8 to 9. De Deuteronomy chapter 31. Eight to nine. He says, the Lord himself, he goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The comforting words of Moses toward Joshua. He says, the Lord will never leave us and he will never forsake you. He will never forsake you. He says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. And do not be discouraged. And he says, so Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the Levitical priest who carried it to, in the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and all the elders of Israel. What were the words of Moses there to Joshua? He says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to pray that, you know, because so many so you can, with, with so many things that have happened over so many months now, you can see people's hearts are heavy. You can see people are getting afraid. People are, you know, you know, thinking so, of so many things. Praise the name of the Lord. But we are going to ask the Lord to that Lord that any the spirit of fear that must be destroyed in the life of the saints in the mighty name of Jesus. Going to ask that the spirit of fear must what be destroyed in the lives of, of the saints in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of fear and let them not be what discouraged by what they see around. We've experienced the pandemic now for how many months? People are getting discouraged. People are getting uh, fearful. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why I say there's that, that atmosphere of what? The spirit of heaviness. But we are going to ask the Lord. Destroy the spirit of fear in the what the lives of the saints in the mighty name of Jesus and destroy that spirit of discouragement in the mm -hmm. lives of the saints in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That now is encourage Joshua. I say, don't be mm -hmm. the Lord is with, with, with you. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. Let mm -hmm. them be encouraged. Let them come to that realization of his presence around him, around mm -hmm. them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So let's just lift up the saints of God into the hands of the Lord. It's not only us that is experiencing this, uh, experiencing this spirit of heaviness or mourning or grief of every of any kind. It is across the world. It's across the, 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 the body of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. One is the pandemic. The pandemic has caused so much, so much grief, so much pain, so much sorrow. It has caused so much. So let's just pray for the saints of God all around the world that the Lord destroy that spirit of fear that the enemy may want to use to what to misdirect them in their in their in their, in their work with God. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Father, Lord, we just want to commit to Lord Father the same soul, Lord Father, into your hands. Lord, you know where they are, where you are across the world. We are praying today that, Lord, God Almighty, let the spirit of fear be destroyed. Anyone, who oh Lord, experiencing, oh Lord, fear, even at this hour, due to one uh, situation or the other, due to the pandemic, due to loss, due to uh, uh, I mean, situations that are beyond their control, I pray that, Lord God Almighty, let the spirit of fear be destroyed, O oh Lord, in their lives. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of discouragement, O oh Lord, Father, Lord God Almighty, let it, Lord, be destroyed in their lives also, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them come to that awareness of your presence with them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Show forth, O oh Lord. Become, O oh Lord, Father, a help to them, O oh Lord, even at this hour, in the name of Jesus. Let them see, O oh Lord, your power, O oh Lord, of comfort in their lives, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, I decree and I declare that, Lord, even as you have said, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. I decree, Lord God Almighty, sound mind for everyone, O oh Lord, Father, going through grief, even at this hour, going through mourning, O oh Lord, going, having the Lord, a spirit of heaviness, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, Lord, that in any way the enemy wants to discourage them with, Lord, situations around them, I say, Lord God Almighty, let that blood plan fail tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the saints be free, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let joy flow, O oh Lord, even in their hearts, even today, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to pray with the comforting words of, of the psalmist. The comforting words of the psalmist. Let's look at Psalm 23 and verse 4. He says, Yea, though I walk toward the, valley, uh, the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff, what they comfort me. Amen. There's something with the rod of God and the staff. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus Amen. being our shepherd, he has a rod, he has a staff. The rod, uh, he says, thy rod what shall comfort me. The rod will comfort us. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord mm -hmm. will comfort us. His, his staff will comfort us. Praise, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus mm -hmm. being our Lord, our, our shepherd. Hallelujah. We are going to mm -hmm. ask the Lord that by his rod and by his staff that he comforts us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord he says what? Mm -hmm. Though we walk through the valley, of, I mean, the valley of the shadow of death, he says we shall fear no evil. We shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff, they what they comfort us. Praise the name of the Lord. The rod of what of protection and the staff what to guide us. Praise the name of the Lord. The rod of protection and the staff to guide us. We ask the Lord to comfort us. Praise the name of the Lord. Even in this walk of the valley, through the valley of the shadow of death, that what that the Lord comfort us. That the Lord comfort us. In the mighty name of Jesus, just as the people, I just as the psalm, the psalm, what was the psalmist was so confident. He says, even though I walk through what the valley of the shadow of death, I shall not fear. I shall not fear. He says, the rod and the staff. We are going to ask that rod and staff to be placed upon us. That rod and staff to be placed upon us. That mm. comfort we receive comfort by the rod and by the staff. Rod being for the protection and staff being what for guidance. We're going to ask them what the Lord comforts on every side in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we want to commit, O oh Lord, Father, every member of Foundation Ministry Worldwide, the saints, O oh Lord, worldwide, we want to commit them into your hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that Father God Almighty, by the power of your Lord, by the power, O oh Lord, of your staff, let, O oh Lord, Father, let us be comforted on every side in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, Father God Almighty, for divine comfort by the power of your rod, by the power of your staff. In the name of Jesus, that rod and staff that is able to guide us through every situation, every dark situation, every valley of the shadow of death, O oh Lord, that is able to guide us through, O oh Lord Father, every situation that is beyond control. I pray that, Lord, let us receive comfort by, Lord, the rod and by the staff in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. 
Another way that God comforts us is by his light. By his light. When his light comes, he exposes every darkness, exposes every, every plan of the wicked. It exposes every, every deceit of the wicked. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 27, 1 to 3. Another way, that's another way he comforts us. By his light. He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah. He says, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against uh, me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may arise against me, in this I will be confident. Praise the name of the Lord. In mm -hmm. this we shall be confident that the Lord shall be our light. In mm -hmm. this period of what? Grieving, in this period of mourning, in this period of, 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 uh, of, of heaviness in our spirits, the Lord will be our light. And when light comes, you know that we have a sense of direction. We have a sense of where we are going. We have a sense of our air. I mean, we are able to what? See our enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so that's the way he comforts his people. He comes as light to them. As light to them. Praise the name of the Lord. And when there's light, anytime you see light, there's always joy. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's only in darkness that you see people getting afraid. When they come into a room that has light, there's no more fear. And that's what the psalmist is saying. He said, I have no fear because you are my light and you are my salvation. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to ask that the light of the Lord shine upon us. Praise the name of the Lord. The light of God shine upon us, shine in our hearts to give us what direction to give the saints, oh Lord, I mean, a, 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 a way forward. Hallelujah out of this, out of every grief, out of every uh, uh, period of mourning, out of what, of every heaviness that they may be experiencing. Let the light of God shine in our lives, in the life of the saints, in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's just go ahead and ask the Lord for his light to shine in every situation that we face, even at this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, Father, for your light, O oh Lord, Father, to shine in the situations, O oh Lord, of the saints, even that they may be experiencing now. Let light shine in every grief. Let light shine in, O oh Lord, Father, every uh, period of mourning, in the name of Jesus. Let your light shine, O oh Lord, Father, over every heaviness, O oh Lord. Let it remove every heaviness, in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, the psalmist says, you are, Lord, his light and salvation. You are able to save, O oh Lord, Father, from every situation. I pray, God Almighty, let your light, O oh Lord, Father, bring about, O oh Lord, salvation, O oh Lord, in every, from every situation, O oh Lord, even that we face, even at this hour, in the name of Jesus, every situation of mourning, every situation of grief, every situation, O oh Lord, of heaviness in the heart, O oh Lord, let your light, O oh Lord, Father, shine even at this hour to bring about this deliverance, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, to bring about salvation, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, Lord, to drive out every fear out of every, Lord, for every saint, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, to bring about, O oh Lord, confidence, O oh Lord, in you, in the mighty name of Jesus, and Lord, even as your light shines, let, O oh Lord, joy be spread, O oh Lord, in our hearts, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. It says, may the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Fill us with joy and peace. Hallelujah. The God of hope fill us with what? joy and peace as we trust in him we are going to ask god to fill us with joy fill us with peace as we trust in him to see us out of this situation as we trust in him to change the atmosphere 
over our lives, over our, our, our places of residence, over our counties, over Ireland, over the whole nations of this world, as it changes the atmosphere, that he would fill us with joy, fill mm -hmm. us with joy, drive mm -hmm. out every spirit of grief, drive out, you know, every spirit of heaviness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead now and just talk to God. Father, we, Lord, commit, oh Lord, Father, the saints once again into your hands. Lord, we are asking that you fill us with joy and fill us with peace. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our hearts, oh Lord, with peace in the name of Jesus. Anything, Lord God Almighty, that is disturbing our peace at this hour, we ask, oh Lord, Father God Almighty, let it cease in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the chastisement of our peace is upon you. You have taken everything, oh Lord, that Father, God Almighty is able to destroy, I mean, to tamper with our peace. And we are decreeing that, Lord God Almighty, by this reason, let joy and peace, O oh Lord Father, fill us with joy, fill us with peace in the name of Jesus. Anything, O oh Lord Father, that is, Lord, tampering with our peace today, we ask, O oh Lord Father, let it come to an end today in the name of Jesus. Any form of grief, any form of mourning, any form, O oh Lord, of heaviness in our hearts, O oh Lord, Father God Almighty, we say, let it be lifted in the name of Jesus, O Lord. The atmosphere of grief, the atmosphere of mourning, the atmosphere, O Lord, Father God Almighty, of, of, of heaviness, O Lord, in the spirit across nations, O Lord. We ask, O Lord, let it be lifted, O Lord, and fill the saints, O Lord, with joy, O Lord. Fill them with peace, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the praise in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let Amen. us look at Joshua chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9 and 10 is the comforting words of God to Joshua. The comforting words of God to Joshua. He says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous. That's what we are going to pray for the saints. Pray for the saints of God. Pray across the world. Let them be strong. Let them be courageous. Hallelujah. Let mm -hmm. not the, the situations around them, let it not what cause them to, you know, to, to be weak and to be discouraged. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to ask that. Let, we're going to pray for them. Let them be strong and let them be courageous. It says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is assuring us that he is with us. We are going to pray for strength for the brethren. Strength for the brethren across the world. We are going to pray that they have that courage to go through whatever situation that they are going through, even at this hour. Whatever situation that is bringing grief, whatever situation that is bringing mourning, whatever grief uh, uh, situation that is bringing that heaviness in the spirit, we're going to ask the Lord, strengthen the brethren, strengthen them, make them courageous, make them be able to stand even through this situation in the name of Jesus. It will not cause them to, what, to, 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 to slide back. It will not cause them to, to be distracted in their work with him. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let's just go ahead and pray for the brethren, for saints across the world, for every member of the family. That they be strengthened. They be strengthened in the spirit, strengthened in their minds, strengthened in every in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we commit to Lord Father, the saints of God across the world, we need to your hands. We ask for the mighty even in under this atmosphere, we ask, O Lord, for strength in the name of Jesus. We say, strengthen, O Lord, Father, the brethren, strengthen the saints across the world in the name of Jesus. Strengthen every member of Foundation Ministries across the world in the name of Jesus. We ask, O Lord, for strength. Let them be courageous. Let them, O oh Lord, Father, be able to stand even in times of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. See, Lord, every situation. Lord, stand with you, Lord, 
see them through the situation in the mighty name of Jesus Lord. Lord, we pray. You say those who wait upon you, O Lord, that you renew their strength, O Lord. I pray for a renewal of strength, O Lord, for each and every one, O Lord, Father, Lord of the saints all across the world. Jesus, O Lord, for every member of foundation ministry, O Lord, I pray for a renewal, Lord God Almighty, of their strength, O Lord, even as they wait upon you. And Lord, for us that are here, oh Lord, I pray that Lord God Almighty renew our strength, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We're just going to pray. Uh, hallelujah. Let's pray from. Uh, uh, Lamentations chapter 3 Lamentations chapter 3 and from verse 53 to 58 The Lord our Redeemer is our comforter It says they silenced my life in a pit and threw stones at me The waters flowed over my head I said I am cut off I called on your name, O Lord, from the lowest pit, mm. from the lowest pit. Mm. And that's where a lot of people find themselves, even at this, in this time uh, and under this atmosphere, from the lowest pit. The lowest pit. Lowest pit. And we are going to help them call upon the name of the Lord. Even some of them will not even be able to call upon the name of the Lord, even from this point in life. Some people are even at the point of going to commit suicide, but we are going to be able to pray for them. Pray the name of the Lord. So we are going to pray. He says what? They call upon him from the lowest pits. Hallelujah. Let me just say, sorry. Uh, from the lowest pit. You have heard my voice. Do not hide your ear. From my sign, from the from my cry for help, you drew near on the day I called you and said, "Do not fear, O oh Lord, you have pleaded the case for my soul. You have redeemed my life." Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! We're going to pray to God that those that are at the point, the lowest point of life, the lowest point. Of, what, of, 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 of their uh, lives, even at this hour, we're going to pray. Lord, redeem them. Redeem them. Redeem them. There are some brethren that are in, I mean, situations that are just beyond them, not knowing what to do again. Okay. At that last point, we're going to help them. We say, Lord, redeem them. Get them out of that situation. You are, the, you are able to bring them out. You are able to bring them out of that situation. You have to stretch forth your hand and give them help. Hallelujah. Even at this time. And bring them out of that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let's just pray for those that are at the lowest point of life. Those that are suffering from even depression. Those that are, 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 are because of so many situations. that So many burdens. They help you so much that they are at that lowest point. We are going to pray. Lord, help. We help them. Send help for them. Redeem them. Bring them out of that lowest, from that lowest point. Bring them back to life in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to commit, oh Lord, Father God Almighty, even those at the lowest point of life, even at this hour. There are many that are even contemplating suicide, even at this hour. There are many that are even tired of life. There are many that are even wanting to leave the ministry work. There are many, Lord God Almighty, that, Lord, even the situation has overwhelmed them, oh Lord. But we pray that you that is the great Redeemer, Lord, we ask that you send help even for them, even at this hour. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be, oh Lord, Father, comfort for them, oh Lord, by even your, your, your outstretched hand, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Stretch forth your hand and lift them out, even of the merry clay, and set their foot all upon the solid rock, even at this hour, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. We pray that, 
Lord God Almighty. You send help from above. Lord, help from above. Divine help from above in the name of Jesus. For those that are that lowest ebb of life, oh Lord, I pray that, Lord God Almighty, you bring about a change in their situation, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that they begin to see hope, 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 oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give them a hope, even even at this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them a hope in, for life, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn around, oh Lord, Father God Almighty, that situation and Lord God Almighty, bring about, oh Lord, Lord, life to them and Lord, comfort them even at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I will just stop there for tonight. Hallelujah. And we are going to just take this prophetic declaration and that is from isaiah chapter 40 and from 1 to 5 isaiah chapter 40 from 1 to 5 I'm going to take it as a prophetic declaration i'll just read it out it says comfort yes comfort my people says the says god speak comfort to jerusalem we're going to speak comfort to Foundation Ministries, we're going to speak comfort to IMF, we're going to speak comfort to home builders, we're going to just prophesy comfort to what, to everyone that is connected to Foundation Ministries, comfort in the name of Jesus. He says, speak comfort to uh, Jesus and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she shall, uh, she has received from the Lord uh, Lord's hand, double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and mm -hmm. every mountain and hill be brought low. As we are praying comfort, as we are declaring comfort for them, as we declare comfort for all the saints across the world, God is saying what? Their valleys shall be filled, their mountains shall be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. He says the crooked way shall be made straight and the rough place is smooth. So something, God is doing something as we are declaring comfort. He says comfort, 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 yes, comfort, my people. That is what we are going to declare. Comfort for the people. We are just going to declare that word, comfort, Comfort, comfort the members of Foundation Ministry, comfort uh, uh, IMF members, comfort uh, Home Builders uh, Network members, comfort even the saints of God worldwide, worldwide, comfort them. And as, is, as we are declaring comfort for them, God says what? Every valley is going to be filled, every mountain is going to be moved. He says the crooked ways will be made straight, and he says the rough roads will be made smooth. Then he says that is when the glory comes out. That is when the glory comes out. Praise, it says, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Because when the people receive comfort, then they are able to do whatever they are going to, to carry on with what they are doing. And the glory of God, those things that are yet to be done by them, those that are yet to be completed by them, shall be completed, shall be what's done. And then the glory of God will be revealed. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's go ahead and just declare comfort for the people. We, as we declare it, God is saying what he's going to do. And we declare it. We just declare that word upon the saints of God, every member of Foundation Ministry Worldwide, Glo uh, IMF and the uh, Global uh, and the um, Home Builders Network in the name of Jesus. So Father, according to your word, Father, God Almighty, that we have read here in uh, Isaiah chapter 41 to 5, we declare comfort. We speak comfort. We say comfort to the people. Comfort to the Lord, saints of God across the nations in the name of Jesus. We speak comfort. We say comfort to Lord, the Home Builders Network, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say comfort to Lord, every member of IMF worldwide in the name of Jesus. I will say comfort to every member of Foundation Ministries in the name of Jesus. And just as you have said, you say you will make every crooked way straight. You say the rough roads, oh Lord, will make smooth as we declare 
declare comfort to Lord. Father, let this begin to not happen in their lives, O Lord. Let there be a manifestation, O Lord, of Lord valleys being filled. O Lord God Almighty, let there be a manifestation of mountains be moved in the name of Jesus. Let there be a manifestation, O Lord Father, of Lord God Almighty, crooked ways be made straight in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Oh, that your glory may be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. We declare this word, O Lord, upon every member of Foundation Ministry, upon the Lord Father God Almighty. The saints of God worldwide upon IMF, O Lord, upon O Lord Father, the whole builders network. Lord, let there be, O Lord Father, a manifestation of this, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, and we say, Comfort, O ye comfort, comfort to you, even wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, even at this time, wherever the saints, O Lord, even are across the world, we decree comfort upon them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And I know that there's going to be a manifestation of his glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. As the people are comforted, we, we, we will see joy coming out. Praise that that is when people are able to celebrate once again. That's when people are able to carry on with what they are doing once again. That's when people are able to what to do and, you know, just continue with the work they are doing. Praise the name of the Lord. So we yes. shall experience comfort even, and I know, even as we enter into the month of what, of May, come, we shall be comforted. We shall yes. be comforted. God says, I am able to carry you. He says, I'm able to carry you even right up to old age. And he's a God that carries He's a God that carries. And I know he will carry us. He will carry us. He will carry the saints across the world. He will carry even members of IMF. He will carry even Home Builders Network. And he will carry members of Foundation Ministries worldwide. He will carry all of us. And you know, when, when we are carried by God, you know you'll be, there's no other comfort that you can receive that other than that of God. Praise the name of them. There's no other comfort that you can receive that will be better than the comfort of God. Praise mm -hmm. the name of God. God Amen. will comfort us. And I know that we <laughs> it's the beginning of new things. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Uh, and uh, thank you so, okay. so much uh, for joining Reverend Victor, Pastor Iberi, Pastor Oli. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Minister Amon, Pastor Martha, uh, Pastor Marie. God bless Amen. you. Please God, 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 all the way from Zimbabwe. Uh, we have uh, someone joining from Zimbabwe today. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah.